Hi, Stan. Hey, what up, guys? What's up, man? How can we help you? <laughs> so I'm calling because this girl I, that I met her on Tinder, um, you know, I, I haven't heard back from her. We messaged back and forth a little bit mm -hmm. and decided to meet up. You know, things were cool, fun, going in the right direction. So we went out for a few days, had a great time. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. The last time we hung out at her, at her place, it was cool. You know, it was super nice. Nothing crazy happened. Yeah. What'd you guys and, do? And oh, uh, you know, we just watched a whole bunch of movies, like The Lord of the Rings, and uh. you know. Just hung out and stuff. Well, I can tell you why she ain't calling you back. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Wait, is she like a movie nerd like you, like a Lord of the Rings? Or did you force her to watch? Because those are long-ass movies yeah. for somebody who's not into it. We tried to get through the whole trilogy. I, I didn't suggest that. I just thought, you know, maybe that was a good movie. And then she's like, yeah. And then I guess she was down to try to get all, all three of them out. Yeah. We didn't finish it that night. I actually stayed over and we finished it the next morning. But after that, you know, I hadn't heard back from her. So you watched Lord of the Rings at her house, stayed over, left, and no was there any sex involved? Nothing? No, no, no sex. Ah, see, All maybe, right. maybe, it's maybe, respectful. maybe she wanted, nah, but maybe she, instead of thou shalt not pass, she was like, get in here. And you're like, hold on a second. I want to see if they win. <laughs> I want to see if the troll guys beat the other guys, the hobbits. Stay quiet. We're going to call her now. Hello? Hi, is this Dominique? Yes. Hi, Dominique, uh, this is Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. And I can, can I explain to you very quickly? Somebody gave us your number for us to call you for a good reason. Can I tell you why? Okay, so I'm sorry. You just told me you're calling me from a radio because somebody gave me my number? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay, so it's a guy. It, not just anybody. It's a guy that you know. I'm going to tell you his name. And basically, he wants to ask you out on a date because he thinks that you guys have, like, a nice little connection. And if you say yes, then uh, we will let you choose where you'd like to go, when you'd like to go, you know, all that stuff, what time you'd like to go. We'll, we'll, you just let us know. We'll set everything up and pay for everything, too. Do you, I'm sorry. Do you realize how creepy all that sounds? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it does, does sound a little, okay, let's just, I'm a little gonna, sketchy. I'm just going to tell you the guy's name because that'll kind of sort of explain it. It's Stan. Who you, I guess you guys have hung out a couple times. It's sketchier. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So oh, yeah. Last time you guys no, had... No, no, no. F*** that dude. No, no, no. no. Wow. No. So, well, okay. Can you tell us why? Because according to Stan, he feels as if you, last time you guys hung out, you guys had a good time. He said he spent the night over your house. And when he left, everything seemed cool. So what is it about Stan that you're not into? Oh, everything seemed cool. He didn't mention anything at all. Like, he said everything was fine and everything went out without a stitch and he just left. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't is seem like he wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. At the risk of sounding like a total jerk, this dude is a dirty ass motherfucker. Well, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of ways uh, to be a dirty ass motherfucker. Yeah, you mean dirty like, like pig pen or dirty like you know, sexual like, yeah. innuendos. Or dirty know, like, like pig pen and three of his cousins. Wait, so he's just a nice. slob? What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <sighs> He, we had gone out, and then he came over to my place on a separate occasion, and um, we were watching Lord of the Ring movies. So we were having a good time, and then I was getting tired, and I was like, all right, man, I'm going to go to bed. You're more than welcome to stay. We've had a lot of wine. Um, but you can't, obviously, you can't sleep in my room. We barely know each other. So here's the couch. And then, you know, the next morning, I was like, all right, dude, peace. I'll see you, whatever. And then I go look at my couch, and there's some fucking disgusting ass grease things on the arm, on the body, like on the whole body of the couch. Like you see a cutout of a sweaty, disgusting, gross man on my couch. <laughs> of grease stains, you said? A grease stain on your couch? Yo, this hey, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Stan's on the phone, Dominique. But hold on, Just Stan. One second. When you say grease stain, like, like what type of stain was it? Like a uh, on the on the cushion or or? My dude, it was like a stain stain, like on the whole thing, like a cutout of a man, like a cutout of a man all over my couch. Like it was sticky 
It was so disgusting. I looked at it for 10 minutes, and I thought, maybe I can tackle this guy. No, I threw I threw the couch away. I, had, I ordered a new one. What? This is the greasiest dude I have ever met in my life. What the? Wait. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I got to say something. Listen. Yes, okay. please do. Listen. It, it, it was hot as f- that weekend. And you had this small-ass apartment, okay? Okay? And then you got the AC all in your room, and you're making me sleep on the couch. Like, what the f- is up with that? Yeah, dude, I didn't think you'd be one giant skid mark on my couch. Ew. Like, I mean, no. you wouldn't, you wouldn't sweat that weekend. It was hot as. F- like, did you not see the temperature? Hold on. What? What? When was it that you stayed over? What weekend? It was the fucking weekend when it was like ninety degrees out. It was over a hundred degrees in her apartment. It was- oh, it must have been that. Remember the heat wave that oh, we had? Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I the see. four days, it was like yeah. freaking ninety-five out. And, and you don't have an AC anywhere else in your apartment? Is that what it is, Dominique? It's only in my room. I mean, why should I provide AC for this man? I provide entertainment. I provide food if you Dude, want you're anything just a else. Bitch. Like you can leave, like, buddy. You're just wow. gonna leave people in the living room and then keep all the AC for you. That's up. okay. It just went left <laughs> oh real my quick. God. You just want you so you didn't want to sleep with her in the bedroom for for sex. You just wanted some uh, some AC. I mean, <laughs> something. Come on. Yeah, don't, dude. It was fucking disgusting. Like I woke up and it looked like in the crime scene when they do like a little outline of the person's body. Like I can see <laughs> Dan left his entire corpse on my. What the f- do you expect? It was like a sauna. <laughs> Jesus, like who doesn't sweat in that? Sweat bacon grease. Like it's oh, the most f- penetrating yeah. thing in the world. Well, what are you, a f***ing lizard that doesn't sweat? Come on. (laughs) So is that no to uh, another date, Dominique? Or do you guys maybe, you know, maybe want to go somewhere, Um, a nice AC restaurant? I can can apparently, like, he left so much of himself on my couch. I can just go spend time with that and say I spend time with Dan. Like... It's you know what? F- this bitch anyway. No. This man is so dramatic. It was not even that hot. He was totally fine when we were watching the movie. Like, what was the problem? How the f*** would you know you were in a f***ing room with AC? And I was in the Savannah Desert. Jesus <laughs> Sahara? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said Savannah. You know what? F*** you, you f***ing AC f***ing <laughs> 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 I, I, I got to go. God.